math lesson 15. So in math today, we are going to um, talk about four ways to illustrate or to show a multiplication fact. So if we have the multiplication fact, two times three equals six. That is one way that we illustrate or show that multiplication fact. We can also say, remember our factors can change order, we can say three times two equals six. Or remember how when we skip count, we could say, um, we could add three two times. Three plus three equals six. That's like skip counting. Three, six. Or we could add two three times and say two plus two plus two equals six. So that is like skip counting as well. Two, four, six. So this is the four ways that we illustrate or show a multiplication fact. Let's do another one. Let's do three times four equals 12. We can switch our factors around and say four times three equals 12. Now we can come over here and we can add four, three times four plus four, I'm writing plus again, plus four equals 12. Or we can write, we can add three, four times. Three plus three plus three plus three equals 12. So those are our four ways that we can write or show um, a multiplication fact, okay? So go ahead and get your math books out and turn them to page 29. And 30. You can tear page 29 and 30 out, put your name and date at the top. You can pause the video while you do this. So in section one, letter A, you are going to show um, the, the facts two times five, four different ways. Letter B, you're going to show the fact three times four, two different or four different ways. Now, when, when you show your facts, guys, go ahead and number them. There's one way, two ways. Three ways, four ways. Number them when you show them, okay? There's one way, two ways, three ways, and four ways. And go ahead and circle your numbers so that we're sure they're not part of your illustration, how you're showing the four different ways, okay? Um, section three, you're going to write the sums. You have some simple addition there. You will need to be carrying. Be sure and show your carried number on your paper, okay? So you don't forget to do that. Section number four, you're going to be subtracting. Let's look at um, letter C. We have 302 minus 198. Let me clear a spot on the board. 302 minus 198. Can we say two minus eight? We can't. We go next door to borrow, they don't have anything. Go to our next digit and borrow, our three becomes a two. She's gonna loan to this guy right here, so he has something to borrow. Now, or so we have, he has something to lend, so now we can borrow from him. That 10 becomes a nine, and our one, be, our two becomes a 12. So 12 minus eight is four, nine minus nine is zero, and two minus one is one. 104. And then in section four, look at letter D. We have 400 minus 176, all right? Can we say zero minus six? No. So we go next door to borrow. He doesn't have anything. So we can't, he's gonna borrow from four. So four becomes three. Our one comes over here with the zero. Now there's 10. So now we have something we can borrow from him. We borrow one from him, he becomes nine, and our one comes with this zero, and we have 10. 10 minus six is four, nine minus seven is two, and three minus one is two. So our difference is 224. Turn your math sheets to the back side. On the back side, we're gonna do a little bit of work with time here. 
So if we had a story problem and it said, Callie walked her dog, look at the, at the top of your paper. Callie walked her dog after school at 4.05. If you look at our first clock right there in our box, you notice that it says 4.05, okay? And she returned home at 4.25. If you look at our second clock, it has 4.25 on there. And it says how much time passed. So when we want to know how much time has passed, we look at our first clock that says 4.05 because that's what time she started. And we look at our second clock, the ending time, that says 4.25. And we're going to count by fives to see how many minutes it took, because our minutes are by fives on our clock, to get from 4.05 to 4.25, okay? So put your finger on your two and start counting by fives till you get to 4.25. Five, 10, 15, 20. So it took her 20 minutes to walk her dog. So that is how you're going to see the time that elapsed, the elapsed time or how much time it took to do it. So in 5A, we had a starting time of 10.15, an ending time of 10.40. So how many minutes elapsed or how many minutes did it take? So look at 10.15 and we're going to count by fives until we get around to the 8 where it would end at, okay? So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So it took 25 minutes, all right? So um, letter B, I want you to try on your own. You're just going to count around, count all the way around from the beginning time to the ending time by tens. Section number six, write the um, numbers in word form. So if you have 2610, that is 2610. So we would just write 2,000 in word form. 2,600. I was trying to decide if 100 would fit right here. 610. You're just writing in word form. And then you have a little brain booster here at the end. It says Jack watched the stars Friday night. He began at 1220 and ended 30 minutes later. What time did he stop? So this time you'll start at 1220 and you'll count around by fives until you get to 30 and then you'll write the time that he stopped on the line. And then if he did, if he watched the stars, would that be a.m. or p.m.? And we're talking about 1230, okay? So y'all enjoy your math sheet. If you're a remote student, when you're done, your math sheet goes straight in your folder to come back to school. If you are a hybrid student, your math sheet goes straight into your red folders.